Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sayaji and uh, I work for VCE as a software engineer. So today I'm going to talk about uh, OpenStack on VBlock. So, so today's agenda is I'm going to tell you about who VCE is and what is a VBlock. And we'll also briefly talk about the OpenStack solution on top of VBlock. So, so who VC is, right? So VC is a, uh, VC stands for Virtual Computing Environment. It's a joint venture between Cisco and EMC with investments from uh, VMware and Intel. So uh, VC designs and delivers the VBlock systems, uh, uh, which is a converged infrastructure. So basically what we do is uh, we take the parent products, uh, uh, integrate them as a uh, single cloud platform. So uh, what does a VBlock do? VBlock uh, enables data center mod uh, modernization. So basically by lowering the data center cost and they also improve the agility of the uh, data center operations. So uh, why VBlock and why OpenStack on VBlock? So uh, the main advantage of a VBlock is a VBlock system is pre-integrated, tested, and validated in a factory. Uh, so we take all the uh, parent products, uh, um, uh, uh, for example, storage from EMC, uh, servers and uh, uh, switches from Cisco and virtualization from VMware, and we integrate it together, we test it, we validate it, uh, so the customers, they don't have to worry about whether it's going to work or no, because it's for sure that it's uh, going to work. So uh, in case of OpenStack, uh, VC's factory process uh, is going to take care of all the complications um, uh, involved in uh, installation of an OpenStack platform, basically, and that's going to reduce the delivery time uh, from a couple of months to uh, a few weeks or few days. The, uh, the other advantage that VC brings uh, is the RCM validation. So uh, RCM stands for Release uh, Certification Matrix. So uh, as I mentioned earlier that uh, what VC does is it integrates the parent products, right? So uh, every time uh, there's a new release for a parent product, a, a software or a firmware release, uh, VC each process, uh, uh, what VC does is they fully test and uh, validate the new releases and make sure everything works and basically they document the software and firmware releases uh, in something called a release certification matrix. And as you all know that OpenStack is under continuous change and uh, uh, the software keeps changing uh, every day and to keep it uh, with the software is a difficult task for the customers. So with VC's uh, RCM validation, the customer doesn't have to uh, worry about all the upgrade processes uh, VC is uh, going to take care of uh, all the upgrade process through the RCM validation. So uh, now a quick overview of uh, VC's OpenStack solution. So VC is uh, uh, trying to work with uh, Red Hat to come up with an OpenStack solution. So uh, we are going to use the Red Hat Cloud, uh, Cloud Forms platform uh, as a business orchestration on top of uh, OpenStack. So basically, uh, uh, the Red Hat Cloud, uh, Cloud Forms platform will sit on top of uh, VCE's uh, workflow orchestration engine uh, to, to, to provide a set of basic use cases. So what does the VC solution do? So the VC solution basically provides a uh, production grade OpenStack solution on a VBlock system. And so what are the key uh, features and benefits? So uh, it provides scalability, it provides high availability, uh, it's easy to deploy and manage, uh, and uh, it's in case of support, it's just uh, one-stop uh, customer support. So uh, the customer, if there's a problem, the customer just has to call VCE, and VCE is going to basically uh, take care of the, all the issues. Uh, so uh, just a quick overview of the Red Hat uh, Cloud Forms platform. 
so uh, OpenStack provides a great base of services. So you can do a bunch of things uh, from the OpenStack dashboard, uh, but there are a few things that are missing, uh, and these things are really important in an enterprise environment. So uh, what VC has done, VC is uh, developing a cloud forms. Uh, basically, it's going to extend the cloud forms platform and uh, develop a self-service portal which the customers can use. And basically, it's going to allow the customers to publish a set of uh, standardized services as a catalog, uh, as catalog items, and it's going to uh, provide a self-service, uh, ease-to-use experience. Uh, it's uh, going to help to enforce uh, role-based access, approvals, and policy-based control, uh, uh, which is we feel uh, right now missing from uh, OpenStack uh, uh, project, any of the OpenStack projects. So, so these are uh, uh, some of the use cases uh, that will be supported by the VCE solution. So the first one is physical provisioning. So basically, you can add a compute host. You can remove a compute host from an OpenStack solution. Uh, you can manage a tenant. Uh, uh, basically, you can create a tenant. You can remove a tenant. And uh, uh, the third one is the network provisioning. So you can create, remove, modify a network. Uh, and also the uh, virtual machine lifecycle management, right? Uh, deploy, remove, modify VM, power on, power off VM. And on the right hand side, you can see how the service catalog is going to look on a Red, uh, Red Hat Cloud Forms platform. So uh, the key takeaways, uh, so basically VC provides the world-class infrastructure, uh, converge infrastructure for your OpenStack uh, cloud infrastructure. Then uh, what we feel is VCE's uh, RCM certification is the right model to support and sustain any production OpenStack environment. And VCE's solution also provides the necessary scalability, availability, and reliability needs uh, to make your IT operations uh, successful and more agile. So uh, that's it. Uh, that's what I wanted to present today. And uh, we are working on a joint white paper with uh, Red Hat. And you can uh, stay tuned. Uh, keep checking the links mentioned here uh, for more information.